Hi guys, this is Shivesh the beginner guy. In this video, I will tell you how to increase your battery life and performance. I will tell you 23 points. Follow these all in your day-to-day -day use of laptop. Your screen brightness uses the most power of any component in your laptop. So you can save a lot of juice by turning it down to the lowest acceptable level. You can manually raise and lower the brightness by your keyboard or from here. See, it is giving me a backup of 9 hour because I am not using much of this computer. Click on adjust screen brightness. I am running my battery on power saver mode, click on change plan setting. From here you can set your battery at the minimum level on battery or on plugged in. Click on save changes, similar setting you can do in balance mode. You can change time after which display will be deemed and turned off on battery mode or plugged in mode. Click on save changes, close it. Now second point, your virus scanner and disk defragmenter along with the auto updates from Google and Microsoft are scheduled to run themselves on a regular basis, often without your knowledge or consent. You can set these tasks to run only on AC power. Click on start, go to control panel, click on system and security, in administrative tools click on schedule task, click on task scheduler library. Say this Google update is running on battery, double click on it, go to conditions, check this box, also check this box, start the task only if the computer is on AC power, also check this box, stop if the computer is on battery power, click on ok, do the same with this task also. Close it. Now third point. If your laptop has a backlit keyboard, it will help you to see in a dark room. But it is also sucking juice out of your battery. You will save some power by turning off that light. Every notebook has its own enabling or disabling its keyboard backlight. But the method usually involves hitting a function key on the top row of the keyboard. Fourth point. Every USB peripheral attached to your laptop is eating up power just by registering itself with the operating system. By the same token, CDs, DVDs and Blu-ray discs operating on your battery can drain battery life very fast. In fact, it is worst thing if you run CD or DVD on your battery. Please never do it. Remove any discs along with the USB key, card readers, modems or other peripherals you don't need while on battery power. Fifth point, the LED LCD backlight screen used on most modern notebooks expend less energy displaying black pixels than those showing colors. Setting your computer to show white and yellow text on a black background can improve battery life and even text more readable when sunlight is hitting your screen. To enable high contrast mode in windows, simply hit the key combination left shift plus left alt plus print screen. Do you want to turn on high contrast? Click on yes. Now my computer is in high contrast mode. See all these things, this all is weird but saves a lot of battery power. See how the text is showing. This area is black. You can see there is no glowing pixels, hence saving your battery power. I am returning it to the normal mode by pressing left shift plus left alt plus print screen key. Now sixth point. You can close some software from being start every time when you start your computer. While you are surfing web, checking mail or typing text, some hidden software like Google Talks, Skype runs behind and consumes internet data. And some software like IDM runs in background consuming your battery power. You can turn it off, type msconfig in the start menu, click to open it, go to startup. From here, you can close some unwanted software being started every time when you start your computer. Just like I don't want internet download manager, so unchecking it. Many of it I already closed. Click on apply and then ok. Restart it, I am not gonna do it right now. Seventh point. Analyze your battery performance. See in the task manager, CPU usage is 24%. Physical memory that is RAM is 40% used. You should charge your laptop fully and run some program like browsers or any movie.
and CPU uses will be increased and also physical memory. Now leave your computer and check after how much time your battery goes to the critical level. So you can analyze how long your battery runs for certain running program. If you know the backup time of your battery then you can work according to that in remote area or whatever. It is showing the same. Actually it takes time 1 to 2 minutes to analyze backup time. Don't rely on this. Do this practically. Closing all program. Now point 8. You should check your battery health time to time. This will give you information how fast it is degrading its health. I am restarting it. Logging off. Shutting down. Now I am pressing boot key continuously. This box opens. Go to diagnostic. See my system parts are being checked. See here my battery health is 98%. I have recently bought a new battery for my laptop. That is why it is 98%. I have stopped this. Exit and OK. Now point 9. Do not run heavy games or software on battery. You can check amount of RAM any software is consuming in the task manager. Put a decimal point after 3 digit from right to left. That is this Camtasia recorder is consuming approximately 78 MB of RAM. Windows Explorer is consuming 46 MB of RAM. I am starting Firefox Aurora. See it is consuming 114 MB of RAM. The higher megabyte software will consume more battery power. Close it. Now 10th point. If you are simply typing text or watching movie then close unnecessary process running in the background. Console window host does not affect my working. I am ending this process. HKCMD module I don't need it. Internet download manager I don't need it. This step certainly free your RAM which increases speed and also saves laptop battery. I don't need TechSmith HTML help helper. I can close Bluetooth software. close it. Now point 11. When you close the lid on your laptop and put it to slip, the computer is still sending some power to the RAM and motherboard in order to keep the current sessions in memory. So your system can wake quickly. In hibernate mode, your notebook will save its memory to disk and completely power off rather than just going to the sleep. It will take less time as compared to the wake after shutdown and also it restores your all work. This is best option for faster operation and saving battery. You can do one thing. In a whole day, every time you should hibernate but before going to the bed in the night, you should shut down it. Shutdown is also necessary to install updates and softwares. Now point 12. You should always check that your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi switches are off or not. If it is not in use, then no doubt you should off it because it transmits very high frequency signals which consumes large amount of power. In the next part of this video, I will tell you remaining 11 tips. Keep watching. Please subscribe. Goodbye YouTube.